Hello everyone, welcome to today's talk about robotic knee replacement with the most renowned Dr. Vijay Kishore Konreddy, Senior Consultant, Orthopedic Surgeon, Aquino Main Hospital, Chennai, whose name speaks for himself. His reputation precedes his name, uh, resonates from Andaman to Africa, Singapore, via India and Bangladesh. Hello, how are you? Hi, very nice to have me in this program. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. And uh, my first question is, uh, nowadays we hear a lot of problem about knee replacement. Yeah. Prior coming to the knee replacement, why knee? Why knee, right? Yeah. Because knee is a weight bearing joint. Unless like shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee bears the weight. So if you are not maintaining the proper weight according to your height, then you tend to get more problems in the knee. If you see above 50, after 5 in 2, will have arthritis. So, if you have an arthritis, then one must visit an orthopedic surgeon, evaluate and find out what is the problem going in the knee joint. Uh, actually, what is a, a robotic knee replacement? Actually, what is robotic total knee replacement? So, what is robotic knee replacement? Very nice question. A lot of people do ask me, Robot will perform surgery? I say no, <laughs> it's not a robot. It's a, it's a doctor uh, will perform surgery. Robot will help. If you see in the car, you have a Google map. So Google map makes the driver drive better. Right. Don't do mistakes on the unknown roads. Same thing, a robot helps a doctor to do a, a better surgery on the knee joint. Oh. That's what robot helps. Uh, in uh, in deep, uh, a robot, when we do a robot robotic knee replacement, we do take CT scans and we do give the complete information to the robot and robot will guide us to cut perfectly those bones inside the operation theater and then we will fix the implants correctly. Because we fix implants correctly, the alignment will be great. The outcome will be perfect. So, how is a robotic total knee replacement different from traditional uh, traditional knee replacement surgery? A very nice question. So, traditional knee replacement surgery, uh, we have been doing since last 40 years. If you see in India, right. last year, about 4,50,000 joint replacements happened. This is a very great uh, number. Uh, if you see uh, the success rate today with the total knee replacement conventional in India is about 92%, which is a very great success story. But still, some patients are not very happy. There are about 7 to 8% still says, I have a knee pain. After my surgery, I am not doing knee, not very great. So that's where the robotic knee replacements has pitched in in advanced countries. And India has also started taking a lot of robots now in India. We are doing a lot of knee replacements through robot. Those 78% unsatisfied patients, we are making them satisfied about the success rate of 99% with the robotic knee replacement. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, total uh, replacement history, but is the uh, robotic knee replacement uh, surgery is more expensive than uh, traditional surgery? Not really much. The robotic knee replacement costs just about 50,000 rupees extra compared to conventional knee replacement. If you do a conventional knee replacement, suppose the implant comes for a good 20 to 25 years. When we do a, a robotic knee replacement, the implant comes for more than 35 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. So the amount what you spend on the robotic system will definitely give you more length of the stay of the implant in your body. So you get what you pay for. Uh, well, how long does it take to recover the uh, treatment process? So usually when we do a, a knee replacement, uh, the very next day we will make the patient walk. The 
second day we will make patient to walk on the steps and the toilet training and patient will be discharged on the second day if you do a single knee if you do a, a both knees then we will discharge on the fourth day so when they go back to the kitchen this is something which i usually get a question so after one month they can go back to the kitchen and start cooking if they want to go and uh, play a little bit in a tennis court or go and walk oh walk on the road after one month after one, one month. month they can go walk comfortably on the road walking in the house is day one today surgery tomorrow they can walk great but uh, uh, is there any uh, risk associated with robotic knee replacement process per se there is no risk associated with uh, knee replacement or a robotic knee replacement any surgery have their own pluses and minuses the risk at the moment is obesity if you have too much of body weight then outcome takes little more time to get settled if you have a sugar uncontrolled if you have a bp uncontrolled then the risk of a small percentage of infection chances but if you treat them correctly prior surgery then chances of complications are almost nil uh, who is the candidate for robotic total knee replacement a very good question so anybody who got severe arthritis if you see a knee joint mainly what we see is an osteoarthritis you have four grades in osteoarthritis grade 1 2 is a mild to moderate arthritis where we do give physio and we do give some medication and we do give some injections grade 3 4 is a severe arthritis where the knee joint is completely damaged so these people are the perfect people to undergo a robotic knee replacement so injection that means prp injection so nowadays lot of injections we do give before we used to give uh, steroid injections nowadays we have a uh, father also yes <laughs> uh, we do give uh, visco supplements that's a gel injections now added we are giving a prp injections uh, they are helping the patients better especially they are in mild to moderate they are really doing well but if it's severe then these injections doesn't have much role to play okay so how long does the uh, surgery take the total knee replacement if you see uh, surgery time depends on surgeon to surgeon okay. sometimes i may do very fast because we do have a lot of numbers in our center some places where there are not a lot of numbers they do for a more time so surgery time depends on the surgeon volume and uh, the confidence condition. and condition and and confidence of the surgeon so that's one side uh, when we do a total knee replacement in our center we take about 45 minutes uh, a robotic knee replacement takes 1 hour one hour so a maximum one hour maximum one okay great and mini- minimum 45 minutes 45 minutes to one hour depends each knee is not same if you see our five fingers five fingers are different five knees are different so some knees are more deformed there are some some knees are more porotic meaning they are very buttery so we need to take care of them slowly do some cases some cases are very strong so we go aggressively So overall, around one hour, I think, and total knee replacement with robot will do the job. Will I be able to uh, come back my normal activities after the knee replacement? Again, the very good question. A lot of people do ask us. Outcome of a post knee replacement depend a lot on pre-op mobility. Meaning, if you are doing a good amount of exercises. before surgery then you aha tend to do very well after the surgery if you don't do much exercises for the knee joint prior surgery then you will do more exercises post surgery so whoever are thinking to undergo a knee replacement with conventional or a robotic my sincere advice to do A good knee strengthening exercises 
get your joint more strengthened, get your joint more mobile. Post surgery, you will really enjoy it. And this surgery will be like a picnic for you. Oh my God, picnic for us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's what some of the patients do really enjoy when they come to us. Two days they stay here, they don't get much of any issues. They walk off because they do good exercises and the outcome after surgery will be phenomenal. So what is the success rate of uh, total knee replacement uh, compared with uh, traditional knee replacement surgery? Good. So if you see in India, we have been doing a total knee replacement with the conventional methods since last 40 years. And if you see last year, we had done close to 4.5 lakh knee replacement in India. That shows uh, the success rate. Close to 92% what we have been seeing the success rate with conventionals. Close to 98 to 99% we are seeing success rate so far with the robotic knee replacements. Uh, are there any long-term benefits of Robotic total knee replacement or is it just a uh, short-term fix? Good question. So, as I said earlier, a robotic knee replacement is more precise, uh, a more technology-dependent surgery. In a conventional knee replacement, we do cut with the jigs, but robot is more of 3D printing, CT scan. All the information from the knee joint goes to the robot and robot will give a map. Each knee is different. Not every knee is the same. That's where robot pitch in until this knee require this much of release, this much of cut. In robotic knee replacement, what do happen? In robotic knee replacements, we don't do much of releases. We don't cut too much of bone. The bleeding is very less. Post-op physio is almost nil. Regular exercises meaning not you don't require to do extra. So these are all the advantages with the robotic knee. With the conventional knee replacement, uh, we do just check an x-ray and intraoperatively we go inside. Sometimes we expect some, you know, the turbulence too. But robotic is a, we know, complete plan prior entering to the theater. So this is the advantage with the robotic. Because we fix very correctly with the robotic system, the alignment of the legs will be perfect. The outcome is much, much, much better compared to conventional knee replacement. Great, but uh, how people can communicate with you? Uh, so I do come uh, to West Bengal, uh, to Kolkata, every three months once. Every three months? Yeah. Of which hospital? Uh, so yeah. there are uh, Apollo clinics. I think you will have that scrolling down going and uh, also uh, Apollo have a great presence in Bangladesh. I used to come to Guwahati as well as Dhaka. Now I will be coming every six months once to Bangladesh. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your time.